Hey guys, it's me, Topflex here, back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review. And today I got two new books, and judging by the title, you can already guess one of them, and that is book two of the Fantastic Four Complete Collection. Now, I know I said last week I got book two, but it, but if you watched it, link in the description below, I accidentally got book three instead, but today I finally got book two, and I got another book, which is Gunslinger Spawn Volume 2. Without further ado, let's just get in the unboxing, dude. I'm really, I'm really stoked. All right, so we're gonna start off with uh, Fantastic Four because this feels too thin in paperback to be Fantastic Four. Should I show my address? Let's uh, just unbox this one. Future me blur the address on that out. Bubble wrap. That was the weakest bubble wrap ever. All right, and uh, ooh, finally it's the right book. Because I know, like, in the video that I posted a while back, the clip, which I'm going to show for you right now. Now we're going to go into uh, Fantastic Four by Dan Slott, Volume 2. I love, um... Okay, so apparently I did a really big dumb thing. And uh, Reed Richards is punching somebody. I'm guessing that's Doom or somebody else. I have no idea. Yeah, but it's in this wrap. So I'm going to take this off and try not to break this book. Got a tiny bit off. That's... Shows how pathetic I am. A flip. Also, I am gonna be uh, reviewing this book. I haven't read it yet. I'm waiting until I read this one to to read this one. Yeah, it's not always used and very good, but this is in perfect condition, man. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, let's read the back. Sworn enemies and soulmates. At last, Ben and Alicia are going on their honeymoon, and nothing can spoil their week in paradise. Right? Except who invited Thane's old sparring partner, the Immortal Hulk? I guess that explains why this cover was in place for Volume 4. It's the ever-loving against the ever-living. But once the smashing and the clobbering are done, will the Grimm's wedding bliss be brought to a painfully early end? Then, when Reed Richards is inspired to finally complete the fateful first adventure that is that transformed his family, the answer they find in the far reaches of space will change everything you know about the origin of the Fantastic Four and forever alter the life of Johnny Storm. That's really cool. Yeah, so um, I got this for half off, but it looks amazing. And uh, I'll just take a look at some of the art inside. Ooh, so it is still maintaining that look from the of from the other issues as proven here but uh yeah so this book looks amazing um that was really short for this for the second book um so yeah and i love how they sort of like make um thane look like he does and like jack kirby's art style of thane for a little bit initial review 10 out of 10 so yeah let's move on to fantastic four volume three which is this book and i love the back cover on this one because that is amazing that is pretty cool. The cover on the front looks a little realistic, or, um, like a painting, which I love. I already gave this a 10 out of 10 in the beginning, uh, well, in the last video, as an initial review, but I'm gonna check it again, and I'm probably gonna give it the same review. The first family is getting a little bigger. The Human Torch has already returned to Earth with a soulmate. Now, how does the shocking resolution of the old, of the ages old conflict between the Kree and Skrulls result in a major life change? one of the world's greatest heroes. A key player in the Marvel Universe makes a dramatic turn. Franklin Richard um, has his world turned upside down. The Fantastic Four are divided by the symbiote invasion of the Kanan Black, and when the Forever Gate opens, it could offer unlimited possibilities or, sp or spell the end of everything. So this take also takes place during the Kanan Black saga, which I have yet to collect all the books. I'm probably going to collect, like, the Kingdom Black Omnibus. But if you haven't read, like, the Kingdom Black book by Donny Cates or, like, The Planet of the Symbiotes, ah, they're really good books. I totally recommend them, which is pretty cool. <gasps> oh, no way! Guess what Guess what we got? We got Ted! The man thing! Oh, what's up? I have yet to create to read an omnibus of Ted, but I really want to because I loved him in Werewolf by Night. Oh yes. Oh, that is awesome. We got a we got some variants by Alex Ross, but I got I think I'm now happy with the king of the inhumans himself, Black Agar Bolt again. 
or Black Bolt, done by Alex Ross. These four right here are done by Alex Ross, and then we got this one done by Alex Ross. So does Black Bolt make an appearance in this book? I really want to collect more Inhuman storylines and like check out more of the Inhuman world and more of Adelan or New Adelan and Black Bolt, and Adventures of Black Bolt, which is pretty cool. And um, yeah, anyway, it's not about that, but I'm just going on about the Inhumans because I love the Inhumans. But yeah, so this, I give it again, a 10 out of 10. So yeah, so Fantastic Four, I'm really excited to read both of these, both volume two and three. I'm really excited to read them and uh, check these out. They're really awesome. Without further ado, let's get on to Gunslinger Spawn. Also, one last little thing. Um, I just finished the Flash movie prequel graphic novel, and I'm gonna do a review of that at some point before the movie comes out. And I'm almost halfway through V for Vendetta, and I have yet to do Age of Ultron. Now I'm on to the fan. Not then I'm gonna be on to the fanta fa fanta fanta Fantastic Four books. Jesus, I can't talk. Say, I need some water. <laughs> But now let's get into Guns and Spawn. That's the end of the sidebar, ladies and gents. And others of all other configurations. Ooh, that looks cool. So the cover is exactly like what's on Amazon. That is a really cool cover. We got Gunslayer, and I have no idea who this is. I am I wonder if it's Jessica Priest. For no other reason at all. That is cool. Take a look at that. That is pretty epic. We just see him standing there. Um yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. It's Jessica Priest. So I'm wondering what she's doing. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really. But it is Jessica Priest. I'm wondering why she is not in her she spawn form. Maybe this takes place before the event, uh, before after the events. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll, I'll find out later at some point in time. But uh, art looks amazing. And now let's read the back. Man, I did this in reverse. I unboxed it, then looked at the art before after before reading the back instead of reading instead of looking at the art after reading the back. Whew. I am on a real bad roll today. All right, the gunslinger has been stranded in the future, a time he can barely comprehend, taking on the identity of a man named Javier. He attempts to navigate this world with his newfound allies in search of a way home. He left the past with things unfinished. There are wrongs that need to be righted, and there are still people that need to be killed. To, to his surprise, some of the enemies he thought he left far behind in the past have shown their faces here in the present. While he still has a few more names to cross off his list, new threats continue to emerge from the shadows. Monsters, cults, angel, and angels continue to hunt the gunslinger across the modern landscape. What they want from him is unknown, but he is damn sure they, are, they aren't going to get it. Spawn may be his only hope of returning to his own time, but working with others has never been a strong suit. But with the help of a Mother Day partner and Taylor, Gunslinger will seek to navigate the present and survive long enough for Spawn to figure out a way to send him back. So, yeah, this collects uh, the next six issues in the series, number 7 through 12, and um, this is pretty cool, but I gotta say, like, that's cool. So maybe this takes place at some point before Jessica Priest become She Spawn. I'm really excited to read this one because I loved the first Gunslinger Spawn book and I really wanna see what happens in the next one because that, that looks amazing. So those are the three books that I got. Uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. And please make sure to subscribe to my friends, Disarray, Angel Dust, and Crystal Lawrence in the description below. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!